OK, for this lecture, I would like you to draw an object. Remember from last lecture? I'd like you to draw an object or a creature. And I want you to draw the beginning object or creature, like, for example, it could be a face, a face of a fish, a face of a tortoise. That might be tricky. The face of a dog, just a face. And then I'd like you to extend, not the face, extend the drawing. So if it's a face, you can put the face on an animal, like say, if it's a dog, you draw the rest of the dog. Or you could perhaps turn it into something else by adding a few dots or lines. For example, pencil. I've drawn a rectangle. However, it's now become a pencil. It's now become a missile. It's now become a missile from the USA. Just for example, Remember, you don't have to be a great artist. You're communicating. It's a process. This missile I've now turned into a jet-propelled racing car. Yeah, I know, stretching a bit, but that, that's what the aim is. So what I've done is turn one thing into another just by adding a few dots or lines. So. What I'd like you to do is to draw an object or creature that you feel confident that you can draw. And try to identify the features that makes that object or creature recognizable. For example, the original rectangle was here. Made it into a pencil with lead made it into a missile with some lines here, made it into a car with wheels and hopefully putting somebody in it. Put the USA on it, perhaps to link it to a missile. I mean, I could have put Russia, China, whatever, whatever. So in other words, characteristics, or, or I'm adding something to it that allows you, the audience, to identify what it actually is. And perhaps draw it several times and, and in each version you might like to exaggerate one of the features that you identified as important. I want you to identify this as being a rocket, so that's quite important. Identify it as being a car, so that's quite important. Identify it as being a pencil, so that's quite important. I stress again, it's the process, not the quality of the drawing. And then I want you to look at the drawing. Remember, you've got various stages. The drawing that you like best and why. And you may find that your favourite isn't necessarily the most realistic drawing. For this, I'll give you five minutes. So that's five minutes of fantastic paintings and pictures and photographs and nice music. Isn't this a relaxing lecture? You've got five minutes. I'd, I'd do one and I'd do it in stages so you can see as I'm building up. OK, let's go for it. Thank you. 
Okay, you've had your five minutes. I'll just show you my my attempt. Just a rectangle. That became a house. That is a garage. And then I thought if I keep redrawing it's going to take too much time. And I wanted you to have your five minutes so I put several together. And the point about this, this is really three, four, five and six. House, there's a doorway, there's some arrows. And you, this is your house, this is your home, this is where you feel at home. This is where you are appreciated and where others appreciate you, where you are at ease. And you then have a choice when you leave your house every day, when you leave where you feel safe. You can choose a path that's going to lead to risk and fire and pain. This is supposed to be blue. Or and choose a path that is positive and refreshing. And if I was doing a class in philosophy, I could say that we make these choices every day, these forks in our life, which way we choose. And I could actually expand on this and say, well, most people seem to choose that way. And then perhaps have another path saying that people start off on the path of righteousness, for example, but then they get diverted. And what do they get diverted? I'm drawing this upside down. What do they get diverted by? Lots of buildings, lots of offices and shops. So perhaps they get diverted by pursuit of money. And then an upside down heart. Perhaps they get diverted by the love of money. So I started off with the house and I put these two here, they could be lights in the window or they could be eyes. And you could say that when you leave your house, this is where you were brought up, the eyes follow you. In other words, how you were brought up, early indoctrination if you like, early socialization, how you were schooled, what you were taught by your parents, stays with you up to a point. Maybe it pushes you one way or the other. Or maybe you make your own choice. But that is how I would explain that if I was explaining it to somebody else. Now you might like to look at what you drew. How would you explain it? What does it show? Is it a cat and then a cat's face and then a cat on a body? Or is it a clock? And it shows a particular time at 10 to 3, for example. Or is it the doomsday clock? Or has the clock stopped? Or is there only one hand? Or is it really a compass that is also a clock? And so on. That's the exercise. We now move on to the next one and the next lecture. Again, pictures will follow.